Can you positively identify these as Miss Harper's clothes and shoes? So that's it! You set something up! You pushed her to it, you bitch! It's a beautiful neck. But it'd break like the rest of them. There's no way Jilly is going to get away with this. I'd like to make sure of it. Jilly will get what she deserves, one way or another. Where's Mum? I don't know. But I've got to talk to her. Did she give you any idea where she was going? No. I tried ringing earlier. There was no answer. Yeah. I only got in an hour ago. At 8 o'clock in the morning. No wonder you look lousy. Well, I was in no condition to get home any sooner. Too much to drink? <laughs> I thought that was my trick, not yours. You're welcome to it. Any particular reason? Let's just say your mother and I have a few things we need to thrash out. Can't it wait? Mum needs a bit of a break right now. I'm sorry. And I can't ignore it. Not any longer. regrets no but I don't want you to feel that you've committed yourself to anything but I have <laughs> sorry oh Cassie we were just um... kissing I know I'd better get back to work bye Angelo See you later. Tara's. Uh, just a minute. Sarah. It's Tom again. Long distance, person to person. I'm not in. I'm sorry, Miss Harper isn't here at the moment.
Sarah. What? I think this is yours. I don't think so. Where did you get it? It was in the back of a drawer in my office. Your mother must have left it there when she cleared out her things. Yes. I don't play the piano anymore, so it doesn't matter, does it? No? That's a pity. Why don't you give it back to my mother? With your love. If you like. Where's Tom these days? He's out there somewhere, chasing a dream. And if he really isn't your brother? He is. Mum wouldn't lie. Unlike some. You know, you don't have to hate me. I know what it's like to be in love with someone you can't be with. I'll see you. Hello, Dad. Gilly? Come to help me move in? Have you heard from Stephanie? No, and I'd be surprised if I had. Steph's a little disenchanted with me at the moment. Oh, where the devil is she? Relax. Have some coffee. No, thank you. Tell me. How much do you remember about last night? I apologize for last night. I'm sorry I passed out. And I remember very little. Why? Is there something I should know? Oh, there are a few uh, minor details. <laughs> Julie Stewart. Yes, he is. It's for you. The police. Hello? Dan Marshall? Oh, my God. Stephanie. Can you positively identify these as Miss Harper's clothes and shoes? Is there anything more we can do? Police divers are searching the waters now, but quite honestly, I wouldn't hold out much hope. Champagne. It's how we began. The day you came back and visited me in prison. No, thanks. Oh, what's the matter? It's a bit late for second thoughts. It's what you always wanted. Or are you worried she didn't suffer enough? Shut up. Now you can concentrate on Jake Sanders. Get it all. You can't be sure that Stephanie's dead. After what you did to her? She's dead. Don't think I'm not grateful for your help, Olive. I am. But what? But the partnership's run its course. We've achieved everything we set out to achieve. Time to call it quits. The payoff. Jilly, there are some reporters outside. Do you want me to send them away? Uh, no, no. Crocodile tears. Thank you, Olive. We must continue our discussion later. Oh. The darling niece, Jessica. Pretty little thing. Nice friends you have. Go to hell, Jessica. I'm going to get changed. Tell the reporters I'll be with them in a minute. Yes, Jessica? What are you staring at? You, Jilly. Just trying to work you out. Try something simpler. More in keeping with your intellectual capacity. <laughs> That's better. For one dreadful moment, I actually thought you were feeling something about Stephanie. Well, now I've lived up to your expectations, why don't you get out of my bedroom? Your bedroom. I wonder how well you'll sleep in here. Not scared of ghosts? Stephanie Harper did kill herself. It was her decision, not mine. Really? You might be able to make yourself believe that, but you won't convince me. Come on, Jilly, you've got what you've always wanted. Have I? 
If I didn't know you better, I might say you were actually hurting. But no one's ever going to buy it, Jilly. No? We'll see about that. Was Stephanie Harper trying to kill herself? That's a monstrous suggestion. Your name's been associated with a number of violent episodes, hasn't it? Greg Marsden, your own husband's death. Now Miss Harper can't be found. What are you suggesting? You just bought Eden. Not bad going for someone who was in jail just a few short months ago. I bought Eden for Stephanie's sake, to keep it in our family. Yet Miss Harper had moved into the Regent Hotel. I was hoping Stephanie would eventually come back here and live with me. How likely was that, considering all the bad blood that was between you over the years? My sister and I had become very close again. Oh, frankly, I'm appalled at this line of questioning. Stephanie's dead. And... You're assuming she won't be found alive? Naturally, I'm hoping she's safe somewhere, but... Look, I'm sorry. And if Miss Harper is dead... I don't even want to consider the possibility. Hmm. Birds of a feather? Celebrating? No, if I wasn't. Why not? How did you manage it, Jilly? If Stephanie's dead, there's as much blood on your hands as on mine. No. I at least gave her an alternative. Your body and soul? If that was her only alternative, no wonder she killed herself. Did you kill her? Something happened. She wouldn't have committed suicide unless she was really desperate. You're wrong. She wasn't as tough as you thought. Oh, yes, she was. Or as clever. She believed I somehow managed to get dear Dr. Dan into my bed. So that's <laughs> it. You set something up. You pushed her to as your bitch. <laughs> Go ahead. Why don't you finish it? <laughs> oh! You're not worth the trouble. Just as well you knew when to stop. Who the hell are you? Never you mind. Let's get this straight. You lay a hand on Jilly again and I'll kill you. Get out, Jake. <laughs> Don't let Sanders frighten you. I can take him no trouble. He's all talk. But you should have kept out of it. Is that how you thank me? You've got your money. No point in your hanging around. You still need me, Jilly. You're a fool if you think you don't need protection. It's a beautiful neck. But it'd break like the rest of them. The search boat is just radioed in. Apparently there's a hell of a rip running. Anything floating out there would be carried straight out. Anything? Anyone? I told the police we'd be at the hotel if uh, there was any news. Nothing we can do here. believe it. She'd never do this, no matter how bad things got. Unless you'd changed. You tell me what changed her. What do you want? A 
list of everything your mother's been through over the past few months? She was down, not out. Unless you know something we don't. Did you two fight last night? Dennis. I didn't even see her last night. No, you're out getting drunk instead. Stop it. Dennis is right. To a point. For the last couple of weeks, things have been getting out of hand for both of us. I don't understand it any more than you do. We don't know that there's anything to understand yet. She might walk through that door any moment. I'm sorry. Look, she might have just wanted to get away. She would have said something. Stephanie. Somebody should let Tom know. If anyone can find him. She you feel pumped, mate? She's packed up. Can you fix it? No, I'll have to get a new one sent up. How long is that going to take? A week. What? This is hopeless. Can I use your phone? I've got to ring Sydney urgently. Sorry, mate, out of order. I don't believe this. Have you got a car I can use while you're working on the Porsche? This isn't the Hilton. Please. There's this little baby. I've been trying to sell off for donkey's ages. Look, here's 200 bucks. Will that cover it? For 200? I've been chucking a free tank of petrol. Fine. Uh, runs on the smell of an early rag. When it runs. Just as long as it gets me to Sydney. I want answers from you. You'll have to wait till I've changed. Like hell I will. When my mother picked me up from here last night, she was a wreck. But I couldn't get anything from her. I want to know what happened. Does it matter? If it helps me figure out why my mother walked into the sea, it matters. <laughs> I hope you're not blaming me. Who else? Excuse me, Dennis, but I really do have to get changed. <laughs> oh, come on, Julie. You don't have to play the modest virgin with me. Your own little performance can't have done wonders for Stephanie's state of mind. <gasps> You bitch. You tried to say it was my fault. How do you think Stephanie felt when she learned that her own son's the sort of lunatic who tries burning down houses? Hmm? She understood. Given that you'd stolen this house from her. Be a good boy. Zip me up. Only if it's your mouth. Hi. It's helping Aunt Jilly with the wardrobe. I heard. Does everybody in this family listen at keyholes? In my case, it's not malicious, just self-protective. Don't you trust Auntie Jilly? Like a funnel web spider. Join the club. I may have been a founding member. <laughs> Come and have a drink. Oh. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean anything. It's all right, it's just me. Forgive me. We shouldn't have come. I should be with Dan. I thought you needed some fresh air. You look kind of drained. I'm starting to feel like it's my normal condition. Hey, don't say that. Angelo, I just can't believe it. Mum was so full of life. She always tried to make the best of things. She didn't know how to give up. She couldn't possibly have decided to end it all. She couldn't. I wanted to see if there was any news of Stephanie. And to let you know you're not alone. I won't stay if you'd rather be on your own. Come on. <clears throat> to be honest, Dan, I, I would have kept away if it hadn't been for Dennis. Dennis? Yes, he practically accused me of hounding Stephanie to a death. Well, you're not the only one who's accused of that. I understand how he must feel, but I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Needless to say, I didn't breathe a word about last night. Well, it doesn't matter. There's no need to lie about anything. 
I know that. But there is one problem. Oh? You'd already gone this morning when I woke up, or I would have mentioned it. In fact, I was going to tell you just as we heard the news about Stephanie. What? She came into my apartment last night. Your apartment? She saw you in my bed and rushed off before I had a chance to explain. God only knows what she must have thought. You don't mean that... What she saw must have looked pretty damning. We have to face facts, Dan. Stephanie's last thought might well have been that the two most important people in her life were having an affair. As far as I can ascertain, there are two women staying at Eden with Julie Stewart. The first is a girl in her early 20s, Julie's niece, Jessica Stewart. No, no, no. The woman who threatened me was older. Oh, then it's probably Olive Down. Criminal record. In prison at the same time as Julie. They became quite chummy by all accounts. Well, at least we know what it is we're dealing with. I did pick up a few other interesting snippets while I was sniffing about. Well? Julie was quite a mess when she was first admitted to the prison. Virtual alcoholic, been hitting the bottle very badly. So, she has got an Achilles heel after all. More like an Achilles leg, from what I heard. Oh, I'll see you later. But don't go, Anton. I want to pick your legal brain. What would happen to our mutual friend here if I were to bring an assault charge against him? That would depend on whether you could make the charge stick. Oh, I've got enough evidence, all right. And a witness. I don't think the testimony of an ex-con will carry much weight. You work quick off the mark with your homework, Anton. You must have been top of the class at law school. He was. Then you two should have no trouble realizing that the publicity alone would be as damaging as any outcome of the case. You seem to forget. We're supposed to be in business together. I'm glad you brought that up, Jake. Because I have a business proposition for you. <sighs> yes? It involves the board. Board? What board? I dispensed with those geriatric gentlemen long ago. You misunderstand. I want directorship of your... Ah, company. Out of the question. The company rules won't allow it. Change them. You're joking, of course. Shall I call the police now? Mining boss in brutal attack on woman. How does that grab you? OK. OK, you win. Good. And I'd like my own office. The one next door will do. That's the general manager's office. I thought you'd put old Bill out to pasture. You know we're looking for a replacement? Lovely. So I'll keep the seat warm until you get one. Just think how close we'll be, Jake. <laughs> Won't that be handy? <laughs> you find it amusing? Of course I do. You didn't have to agree to the seat on the board. She was bluffing. I know, Anton, I know. But until I decide the perfect fate for Mrs. Stewart, I'd like to keep her close enough to watch. Very carefully. Has there been news? You all right? I, uh... It's my fault, Sass. There's no getting away from it. Steph was dead because of me. I killed her. I don't suppose you've got a smoke on you. Seems I left him in my other suit. What happened? You 
tried to rescue me, which was pretty silly considering I didn't need rescuing and you can't swim. You weren't supposed to notice. Thanks for fishing me out. Well, it was the least I could do in the circumstances. No, it wasn't easy, I can tell you. God knows how far down the coast we've been carried. You weren't trying to kill yourself? <sighs> Wash away my troubles, perhaps. No, I'm not the suicidal type. Might be better if I were. You? Troubles? Well, we won't be able to swim back. We'd better head inland. They'll be looking for us. Not us. Just you. Come on. I wouldn't count on Dr. Dan being available to do cosmetic surgery on that awful scar. Why not? He's rather a mess at the moment. He's liable to let everything go to pieces, including his medical career. He's too strong a person to give in like that. Oh, perhaps you think you're the little woman to help him put his life back together. I ought to go to Dan with Uncle Philip's tape and let him know what his sister-in-law is really like. Too late. Stephanie's gone. So why don't you just give me that tape and any copies? The police might still find them interesting. What do you want? Oh. We are jumpy. But then you were very young when you were caught in the fire. How do you know about that? Jilly tells me everything. Leave me alone. Your scarf. Very pretty. But it'd go up like a shot. And your dress make a real mess of you, wouldn't it? Auntie Julie! Auntie Julie! Don't want another accident, do we? Your whole body's scarred. I think perhaps you'd rather just cooperate with Tom will be here soon. Yes, I'd like you to go through the diary and cancel all my appointments for the rest of the week. Yes, or? Wouldn't we be better off keeping busy with our jobs? Dennis could be right. There's no way I've any use in an operating theatre. It's your drinking that started all of this. If you would have been halfway sober, none of this would have happened. Really? And who voted his mother from the board? Was caught pouring petrol all around Eden? Stop hey. it, both of you! Mum hasn't been gone a day, and we're already at each other's throats. Given that you're a lousy swimmer, how the hell did you think you were going to rescue me? <laughs> I uh, hadn't worked that out. But since you were worth a fortune, I gave it a go. I'm sorry, mate. I think you're a bit late. What? I've lost the lot. Right now, I reckon you'd probably be worth more than I am. That bad? Gone. Everything. And not just the money. So what happened? I made a mistake. Several, in fact. Yeah? Can't be that simple. I, uh, did a bit of homework. Checked you out. Why? Which way? We must hit a main road sooner or later. So what are you going to go back to? Clothes on the beach, car abandoned. 
They'll think you're dead by now. I suppose they will. What's the matter? Cut my bloody foot. Well, come and sit on this log and I'll have a look at it. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> How bad would you like it? I better bandage it or we'll never get out of here. I knew this would come in handy. You could stay dead. What? Worked once before. I'm so sorry about Stephanie. Thank you, Hilary. It's Sanders, in. I want to see him. Dr. Marshall's here. Send him in. I hope you're happy now Stephanie's gone. Now, don't try offloading your guilt on me, Dr. Marshall. Stephanie's reasons for taking her life were personal. Really? I don't suppose that losing this business, her life's blood, had any personal effect on her? Not compared with what she thought you and Jilly Stewart were up to. Yes, I know about that. What Stephanie saw was completely innocent. She misread the entire situation. With a little, uh, prompting from Jilly. What? Jilly would never let an opportunity like that go by without making maximum mileage of it. I bet she manipulated the whole situation. Well, uh, I don't see her. Oh, come on, Doctor, you're too shocked to think. Look, you're probably not going to want to hear this coming from me. But I do know how you feel. To different degrees, we both love Stephanie. And now we've both lost her. Damn, Jilly. Rest assured, she will be. What are you doing here? Dennis, it's all falling into place. Now, if anyone is responsible for Stephanie's death, it's Jilly. You can't leave him there. Tell me the rest. The only thing I've got on my mind right now is to break into Eden and shoot her. Leave her alone. Cool it. Cool it. There are other ways of fixing her. I don't think Mum would want that. You up for murder? No, you're right. Of course. Jilly, what? Jilly will get what she deserves, one way or another. You're still here. I have something for you. A peace offering from Jessica. Tapes Philip sent her. And all the copies. How do we know she hasn't got more stashed away somewhere? <laughs> because I frightened her out of her wits. Suddenly, Jessica discovered a burning desire to make a contribution to the cause. Could have used a more subtle method. Surely it's the result that matters. I wanted you to see that I'm still useful to have around. You can't stay at Eden, Olive. You've already blown your cover once. And I've arranged with an agency to send a new butler around. Someone a little younger than Roberts. And easier on the eye. Someone fit enough to make sure that any intruder thinks twice. So, you see, I'll be quite safe here, by myself. You really want me to go? I think you'd better leave before he arrives. Too many people have seen you already. You gave her all the tapes? Yes. That woman terrified me. Hello, Cassie. Hi, Angelo. Table. 
<laughs> I've changed my mind. I'll eat on the run. All right. Like I told Dan, there's no way Jilly is going to get away with this. I'd like to make sure of it. Are we going to stay here forever? I reckon the bandage needs changing. Tough. I'm not getting any more of what little decency I've got. Worth a go. And you look terrific. More than I can say for you. Yeah, but then I'm not the one stuffing up a chance of a lifetime by returning from the dead. It wouldn't work. Whatever crazy scheme you had in mind, and anyway, I couldn't do it to my family, my children. You did it to them once before as Tara Wells. You had to. And uh, given what's at stake, they'd understand. And then what? I mean, how precisely do I go about taking it all away from Jilly and Jake Sanders? I don't know, but we'll think of something. Trust me. How is he? Not good. Dan, Rena McMaster's here and she's in a dreadful state. Rena? What's wrong? It's Tom. His car ran off the road. And they're rushing him to a hospital here in Sydney. How bad is it? They say he'll need emergency surgery. Will you do it? Will you take care of Tom? Dan, please. Yes, of course. I'll do what I can. I need a breather. You smoke too much. And I really don't want to still be here come nightfall. Why? You're quite enjoying it. Am I? Perhaps it's relative. Just putting off what I have to face back there. So you've made up your mind. You're definitely going back. I don't have any choice. Not a responsible one. Where did all those responsible choices ever get you? Wandering through the bush with a con man in his underwear. Could be worse. Come on, let's get you home. The road! And a bloody phone box. Stay dead! It's your best chance. We think about it. I have spoken to the resident surgeon. He's allowing me to do the operation. And he'll assist. How is he? Well, he's sustained severe head injuries. But he'll be all right? Yes. Yes, of course. I can't do this. What's the problem? Wrong size or not your colour? You don't go around stealing other people's clothes. They're nudists. They don't need clothes. You look ridiculous anyway. Perfect couple. Get in the car. What? 
We're just borrowing it. They'll get it back. No. This is a hell of a time to become a responsible citizen. I will not be a party to car theft. Hey, excuse me! What are you doing? Stuffing it all up. They'll recognize you, the missing heiress. That'll be the end of it. It's up to you. OK, let's go. You sure? Yes, move! Keys in the ignition tends to encourage crime. I got here as quick as I could. Thanks. How long since Tom went in? Three hours. Come back to the hotel. Get a rest. I want to stay. I can't leave Rena. It was shocking. We've done everything possible. If he gets through tonight, then he has some chance. But the next few hours will be a tremendous battle for him. Can we see him? Just for a few minutes. soon find your way around, Michael. I'm sure I will, madam. <laughs> Jessica, thank you for returning Philip's tapes. Ashes to ashes. I suppose you expect me to leave. Actually, I was going to ask the new butler to help you pack. Can't I stay? Would you really want to? Olive's got no reason to threaten me now. And I've got nowhere else to go. How will it look if you throw me out? Well, I suppose there is some kudos to be had from sheltering a poor, wounded niece under my wing. All right. But one step out of line, and it's goodbye, Jessica. Understand? Thank you. It's the least I can do. And the most I'm going to do. Madam. Morning, Michael. Your breakfast is served on the veranda. I'll be there in a minute. The paper? It's on the table. Thanks. 